you know, and the report came out today from Sam Amick of The Athletic oh, in boy. terms of the Chicago Bulls fire sale that's pending or looming. He says that New York Knicks, as well as the Miami Heat, are listed as DeMar DeRozan's preferred trade destinations. Knicks, Heat. Knicks, Heat. So now, uh, naturally, a lot of Knicks fans, they're... They want to be involved. Let's go get a guy. Everybody's getting a guy. Let's go get the guy. Here we go. What do we have to give up? Oh, we'll give you all of our conditional picks that nobody wants that have been proven to be completely worthless. We'll give up Grimes because he's not playing well. If you need Hartenstein, we'll give him up because they're not going to bring him back. I mean, I'm seeing all these types of justifications on Twitter today, and I'm just like, ah, here we go again, man. I'm out on this guy, man. He's 34 years old. A half a year rental, doesn't shoot the three, doesn't defend, doesn't come up big in big games, terrible playoff track record. I mean, what more do you want me to say? Done nothing with the Bulls since he's gotten there in terms of elevate them. Yes, the whole, you want to blame the whole Lonzo thing? I get that. We talked to Corey about it today on the NBA report. Yeah, the Lonzo injury was big for them. This guy's not it, man. This, this is not it. I don't need another high usage guy coming in that doesn't shoot threes and doesn't play defense to come in here and play with RJ and Brunson and Randall. That's a big adjustment for that group. You don't stretch the floor whatsoever. Yes, he gives you a clutch option next to Brunson. I get that and probably a more reliable option than Julius. But this, this is not the answer. Let me ask you this, CP. Yeah. Let me ask the chat this. All right. And CK asked me this on the play by play for the pregame show. Uh, I know everyone's thinking Grimes. I get that. I get that. So you're going to tell me, and I want everyone to think about this. Brunson, DeRozan, RJ, Randall, Mitch. Outside of Brunson, who else is knocking down threes at a high clip? And don't tell me RJ, who's now gone cold from three. Randall is not shooting well from three. DeRozan makes like two Success. attempts per game, if that's even what you need. I just, like, so now you're going to rely on Brunson's hot scoring to say, hey, this space is the four for us when your top guys all perform from 15 feet in. It just doesn't make any sense, man. They're not doing We're this. shrinking the court. They're not They're not doing this. If Grimes gets traded, he's getting traded for Spider. Somebody better. Somebody younger. Somebody with more of a future here with this team. They're not going for quick. They're not in a position where a quick fix for a young player in a draft pick is going to put us over Boston or put us over Milwaukee. Like It doesn't do that. So and that's it, the thing, it, right? It's not, it's not even necessarily about what Grimes' ceiling is. It's about using that asset for a better piece. Your thoughts? No, that's that's legitimately it. It's like, if I'm making a trade at this point, the Knicks are a good team. Like, th that, they're a good team. They are a good team. They can compete. Right now, you look at them, they're in the top six when it comes to the standings. You're thinking about the next, I'm thinking about the next step. All right. What makes you a contender? You're going to tell me that DeRozan makes you a contender? Because I don't believe that. So now you're going to, and the Bulls, you got to think what the Bulls need. They're looking for a young player and draft capital. Right. If you're going to, draft capital is overrated in my opinion. And how much you need and what you, what it all does, right? Regardless if you have high protections on it or whatnot, is a theoretical asset that once you draft that person, then it becomes tangible. And then if, if your team's not good at drafting, the pick is not really worth anything. So if you're going to tell me that you're going to trade all these draft assets to some to people who believe it's worth a lot of value, plus a young player, shouldn't you want to get something better in return that's going to elevate the team? They're not, they're like, not doing this, man. That's just, it just doesn't make any sense at all. They're, they're not doing this on, on a 34-year-old half-year rental. Like, what are we talking about? And, and the thing is, is like, you know, with the picks and all the fans are like, well, if it if it costs slow, we should do it. There's going to be a lot of, why wouldn't a lot of teams be trying to go get the Rosen? Why wouldn't the Lakers? Why wouldn't Miami? And if that's the case, what, what are we talking about? Conditional picks. You got other teams that probably might give you a first. A real first. Not a, what if this happens? What if this happens first? A real first. So, you know, a lot of Knicks fans just think this is a one-team race. To go get this guy. An expiring contract at that. 20 point per game score. You're going to have more teams looking for him. If it was DeRozan like when he was like 27, 28, I'd take the shot on. I'd take the shot. But 
He's just not that man. It's we're we're past that point. We're past, and I like the Rosen as the player. By the way, like I like the Rosen. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I, we like went Chuck, to San Antonio. Chuck said in the chat, the Rosen in a vacuum is fine as a player. Oh, for it's sure. Fine, yeah, but the fit has to be right. Yeah, that's a fact. Like I actually like that he's become a better playmaker after going to San Antonio. I thought what he did with the Bulls, like his first year, was impeccable. But Lonzo was like that key, that piece that like helped connect him and Levine as the scores. Yeah. The thing is, if he comes here, we don't necessarily have that connector like Lonzo. Like, Brunson's a good facilitator, but he's not a connector. Brunson's a scorer. Randall's a scorer. RJ's first thing is to think about scoring. You know what I mean? Like, they, these guys have gotten better yeah. as passers, but if you're going to include someone like DeRozan, then you really need someone who's like that old-school, traditional point guard. You need a connector, man. You need a connector. That connects everything. That's too, that's too much of an adjustment, man. 